floating a, a stretch of the main stem of the Elkhorn Creek. But you're working. And working hard. Fat little fish. Not we would all. much rather be doing some kind of paperwork. Absolutely. I kind of miss that right now. <laughs> but since you're out here and since we have to do what we have to do, not a bad way to start today. Fat little fish. Uh, Elkhorn Creek, beautiful, beautiful stream. Chock full of smallmouth, big history. Kevin Kelly, outdoor writer extraordinaire with the Department of Fish and Wildlife. You have been here, what, two years? Coming up on two years here in December. And if you want to punch me in the throat right now, it's your opportunity to do so. I don't know how we have not gotten you out and, and uh, done a segment with you. What's the matter with us? Well, I just like to fly under the radar. No, you can't fly under the radar <laughs> when you're with Kentucky Field. I grew up fishing. None of, nobody in my family had a, had a hunting background. So that's something that I've had to learn um, since I've come to the department. I've taken steps to do that. And, and you know, it's, it's something I'm eager to learn. You know what, as you, as you grow and expand in your outdoor endeavors, you will find that each one opens up this huge window of opportunity. Drum, there we go. Let's see if we can hear him. There he is. I travel light. I like to catch him on top. I live or die by this. Sometimes you catch him, sometimes you don't. So far, I've done pretty strong, well. Strong, strong. He can't be as big as he thinks he is. That's not the big one. I have never caught a fish that size right there that fought like he did. Unbelievable. How did you work your way here to the Department of Fish and Wildlife? Well, believe it or not, I was a uh, newspaper reporter for 15 years and uh, started out in Charleston, South Carolina. It was my first job out of college. And um, from there, I went to, to the St. Petersburg Times. And uh, most recently, I spent 10 years at the Cincinnati Enquirer, um, mostly covering sports. I, I covered the Reds and the Bengals for- So you've for, had nothing but fun jobs. It's been good. It's taken me a lot of cool places. I guarantee you. That's for sure. But nothing as cool as, as being out here. This is, uh, this is my true, true passion. What's your favorite story you've done so far? One of your favorite stories? Two that, two that come to mind. One was a profile on John McGregor, the, uh, the kind of a legendary herpetologist. He hates his job too. Yeah. It's, uh, he hates snakes. I spent, spent a, you know, a, a day with him up in Northern Kentucky and, uh, you know, flipping over old oil booms and, pieces of wood, you know, he's getting bitten by snakes and not flinching at all. I would have, I would have run for cover, but uh, that was, that was a fun time. <laughs> and then um, most recently over the winter, uh, went out with Brooke Hines um, up to Carter Caves and they were doing some field trials of uh, uh, experimental treatments for white nose syndrome and, and went into Salt Peter Cave and uh, saw their work there. And that was just really fascinating. That just uh, opened up a whole new window for me. What are you using today? Just out of curiosity. I'm just using a... Pick uh, it up here and show us what you, what you got there. I've got a... Just a tube. Um, eighth ounce. And... They eat that thing up, don't they? They do. They have been. So we've been using that and uh, some uh, Senkos, you know, all about, you know, one eighth to one sixteenth. Man, they fight. <laughs> it's a good heavy fish. Nice. The amount of water we have in Kentucky to do just what we're doing today is phenomenal. And there are so many places to go and things to do. So many access points we have now that we didn't used to have. It's wide open. You got a double. Double. Man, oh man, they fight. How about that? 
Let them grow up, huh? Nice. If you got the best job in the world, we have the best job in the world. Mm -hmm. Now the only thing we have to do is go catch some more fish. I know it's tough. You think you can pull it off? I think so. I, I can muster. You're the not energy. scared. Not scared. Let me see your I'm not scared look. Wow. You're not scared. Not scared at all. Well, let's just go catch some more tonight. Now, here's what happened. We went through a flow of fast water and the camera got wet. So, of course, that's when I hooked my biggest fish. Now, right when this happened, I said, Kevin, do you have your phone? Do you have a phone that you can take video? He said, I'm not sure I can't find it. He was getting through his drop back. I had hooked this monster smallmouth. Now, this fish was probably close to three and a half, four pounds, and I threw my bug at, and the response to the fish was just magic. It came up and just, what, anything? Violet. It was just the wonderful thing about fly fishing is to see him come up and take it. I didn't know if it was 10 inches or 12 inches. It ended up being probably a 20-inch fish. Oh, my gosh. Nice fish. That right there is an Elkhorn Creek smallmouth. We went through the water, got the other camera wet. But look right there, on a fly rod. That is not fun. I would not recommend anybody ever do this. Fish was strong. Did not stop at the last minute. Look at the size of that thing. 